funday.com workflow tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to tell you about monday.com and how you can set up a workflow and basically manage your projects along the way so having said that let's just jump into the video over here once you come over here onto the website they're basic this is how it's going to look like over here they're basically asking you what you want to work with so you can choose whichever one you want so we're going to be choosing project management and click on get started give it a few seconds to load up and once they do they're going to ask you for your email address or you can sign up with google so i'm going to go ahead and sign up with google because it's a lot easier and it's a lot quicker basically going to ask you your name and your account name just simply click on uh, i agree to the terms of services and click on continue they be ask you what brings you here work and uh, team leader click on continue two to five no i say six to ten uh, how many people at your company? One to ten. Click on continue. What would you like your to manage your first project management? Click on continue. Project management. Click on continue. Basically, YouTube ads and stuff. Click on continue. And once you've answered all of these questions, they're basically gonna load up your workflow for you. And over here, this is how it's gonna look like. Uh, you can go ahead and add in the email address for your team as well. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add my couple of different emails that I don't use anymore. And then I'm gonna show you how it looks like. And once you've signed up, this is how it's gonna look like. This is, you're going to be your dashboard. You're gonna have your team members over here your and your group titles over here and you can do everything over here so this is your home page over here you can go ahead and start working on things right here you can see you have a ready-made template that you can use from for you know uh, basic training for customer projects for scrum software you can go ahead and close this up if you want to and over here you have you complete your profile that can you know um that can help you to complete all of this if you want to and get a better understanding of the whole uh software so basically what we're here to do is we're here to get you started on to organizing your workflow and basically you know set things up so over here this is going to be your workspaces this is going to be your main workspace so if you click over here you will have all your workspace over here let's go ahead and create a new workspace so that we can you know work from scratch so we're basically gonna uh, write in youtube automation or something like that or just youtube videos and it's an open one so that anyone can join or you can keep it closed so that it's private and only your members can join so let's go ahead and click on create a workspace over here this is going to be your workspace, and you can add in boards you can add in members and stuff like that so you can add in members as well so you can invite members you can have your all of your people over here so let's go ahead and invite everyone over here there we go all the people are over here i think and once you have your members you can go ahead and start you know uh from scratch or you can add from template let's go ahead and add from template so that we can go ahead and do that so we're basically going to be a project manager right over here we have all our different categories that we can choose from so let's go ahead and click on to project management and over here we have all these different types of profiles these types of templates that we can use choose whichever one you feel like most comfortable with i'm going to use this one as well so let's go ahead and preview this one i think this looks pretty nice yeah i think this looks pretty good this is basic pretty normal pretty easy to handle let's go ahead and use this template wait a couple of seconds for it to be created setting up your workflow as well this is going to be much more easier because you will already have a pre-made workflow and then you can start you know editing it out so this is over here and you will have your main table over here and then you will have a kanban view of it and you can change the view of it as well so if you click on add view so you will see you have your dashboard charts kanban gantt card forms or as or other apps as well i have found that cards are more easy to handle so we're going to choose card view and uh, over here we will have all our projects so over here this is going to be your projects right you can go ahead and edit them out you as you can see we have our priority set as well so you can change the priority of each one and you can add the owner and you can go ahead and you know change whatever you want so over here this let's just assume that this is going to be your first uh, work so let's go ahead and change that to week one all right this is going to be the group uh, that you have already created and within that group is going to be certain team members that, that that and those team members are going to be working over here you have your owner you have your priority set over here 
you have your opportunities as problems you can add domains and stuff like that you have a timeline and initiation status as well so choose whichever one you want and you if you want you can go ahead and add a new item by clicking over here click on new item you can change the group settings and stuff like that and click on create item and you can literally create a new board from scratch as well by clicking on new click on new and click on new board and over here you will have your main you will have your campaigns creatives you will can have customs projects as well so we're going to click on projects and create a new board and you will have a new board let's go ahead and add a card view you have your team one team three team four and you let's go ahead and add a kanban view as well there we go so over here you will have working on it this is going to be the project all right this is going to be the done project the stuck project and the empties one if you have any so you can choose whichever one you want as you can see it's very easy it's very solid just simply click on it and you can assign a group or a person and you can assign the status if you want and then just simply click on it done now and then you can assign add a new project by clicking over here and let's just say that we want a video that could be you know uh anything we want but we're not going to add it over here we're basically going to add over here and instead of item three let's just say that it's basically doing research on it's basically like make a video on a certain company or a certain someone let's just say make a video on uh bill gates and done and then you can go ahead and assign a person to that particular task then you can stick and then once that person has been assigned they can go ahead and move this column over here into the working section as well we're gonna go ahead and uh, actually put this over here and in, from the empty tray we're gonna go click over here and instead of the empty tray and uh, we have and then this i think looks much more better and for example if a project is stuck you can just simply click over here and click drag it over onto the proc stuck or just simply change the status from over here and you can edit these labels as well so working on it stuck done and uh, stuff like that so we're gonna go with the from the default label to let's just say ideas all right and apply there we go and we can add new projects as well like i said before uh we'll just say this is going to be like uh, whatever you want for example you have a done stuck and uh, we'll just say save for later for i click on create project as well and you can create a new group of project as well so if we click on creating new group view in boards if you click on view in boards you can create a new group over here so it's basically how it works so this was the uh product this was the uh, you know the template that we downloaded the agile project management template all right this is how it looks like over here you have your all of the other settings as well this is a little bit more advanced so uh, don't get intimidated it's very easy all right just simply click on workload and you will see all of the workload as well that was the main table view then you have the gantt view as well over here you will see it and then you have the kanban view as well so over here as you can see this is the working on project not started yet you know the working on one done stuck no need anymore as you can see it's pretty simple kanban view is is much much more simpler and it's easy to use and uh, it, it's very simple and over here you have all these different columns so you can add like a timeline or a priority or you know designer or whatever one you want you can add all of these different priorities and uh, you know labels into your columns as well so it all depends upon you so for me that's how i basically you know like it uh the kanban view like i simply wrote like week one over here then we're gonna add like uh, a completed week two or three we're gonna put ideas over here and assign people to those ideas and they're gonna you know move it over onto the working on section and then once they've completed it they completely put it into the done section over here and if they can't if they're stuck they put it in the stuck or if they don't need it they put it over here like in the no need section and that's basically done so that's how uh i basically you know customize my boards in fact it's very easy it all depends upon you and work and level of activity that you have and the type of work you want 
So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections as down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye.